So, Michonne. That's a great name, Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You've got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. Norma's not so bad. Eh, who knows? It's a new world. Maybe the name will make a comeback. I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure, once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. You want to know me? <sighs> Let's talk. That's what I like to hear. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. You seem brighter than Samantha. We're not together. I don't know these kids. So you say. And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. Our boat ran into some trouble nearby. The ferry was the only thing in sight. Your boat, huh? Hey, Zachary. Yeah? Get Janie to take a crew down by the shoreline. See if they can find this boat she's talking about. Bring anyone they find back here. If they need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? I need to know who's with you. Can act on incomplete information. There are more of us out there. Figured as much. Don't run into that many small groups these days. I know how this whole thing must look to you. I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Whether you're with them or not, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big, bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. Yeah. She said something like that. See? I knew she would. She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. Yeah, that'd frustrate me too. I'm glad to hear you say that. Not a lot of good people left, I'm afraid. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. What about those people on the ferry? Children, whole families, executed. How many chances did they get? No, we didn't do that. Scavengers killed those children, their families, everyone. Then they took over. So Randall went down there, gave those murderers justice, made sure they'd never kill again. That's what we do here, protect people. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, 
we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets, and ammunition, handguns, and a couple of rifles. That's all there was. Well, it didn't just disappear, did it? Bring in the kid. Wh wh what do you do it? Here's how this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk to me. His sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact-checking, Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother did. <sighs> Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on now. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. How long have we been together? A, uh, long time. We're old family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said you weren't even together. Someone's full of shit. The kid made a mistake. He did. He lied to my face. Oh! Okay, let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people? You remember, don't you? She wanted to know, are there others? It, it, it's just us. Uh, us four. Well, that's disappointing. She said there were more of you. Randall, go! go! Please, I'll tell you whatever you want! You don't need to use that. She's right. Randall, I think you made your point. Ugh. Get a towel, Zachary. Leave him alone, okay? He's just a kid. Throw him a pity party when we're done. Get the fucking towel. He lying again? Try to be kind. Try to extend my goddamn hospitality. Greg's lying. <laughs> Damn it, for fuck's sake, Randall! Norma, please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far. Like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get him in line by being soft. Now, being smart isn't the same as being soft, Randall. We're not gonna get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below and get the other fella. I appreciate you telling the truth, Michonne. You. How you've lived so long in this world, I haven't a clue. Zachary, a word in private. You okay? What do you think? <laughs> 